think it's quite fitting that we go to the steakhouse then. We eat the burger. Do you need it more than they need their life? Don't be shy, mate. I'm just eating. You're just eating an animal? Yeah, yeah. What animal? Which animal? Two. A pig and a cow, my guess. A cow, a chicken and a cow. Beef is not an animal. Change my mind. You can't change my mind. I want you to change my mind. <laughs> I haven't had that much success. Just had a 30 minute debate with someone, but uh, hoping to get more. Why is everyone so shy? Like, don't I look approachable? I've got my arm on the table, looking all professional. You okay being on camera? Yeah, fine. Okay, for my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, so I'm saying that eating meat should be illegal. Right. And I want you to tell me why it shouldn't be illegal. Um, so uh, humans have actually, their teeth have developed over like years and um, okay. so they've actually developed to eat meat. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, In what way? Our teeth? Let me show, show me your teeth. Okay. What, what about your teeth tells me that you're a uh, meat eater? Um, so obviously everybody's teeth are the same. And, okay. um, what about your teeth that tells you that tells me that you're a meat eater? What is it about them? Um, so the shape of them, you can see there's like uh, where? What are they? Uh, they're uh, I think they're molars or incisors. I'm not sure to be honest. Okay. These flat ones at the back are actually molars, yeah. That's them, yeah, yeah. Uh, these are called canines. Them ones then. Okay. So I believe the canine teeth have been uh, so they've like evolved over the years. And um, because humans used to have a very plant-based diet. Oh, really? And as they started catching animals and, okay. you know, eating meat, uh, their teeth has, like, developed over time. So we catch animals with our hands and eat uh, animals raw with our canines, rip through their flesh, yeah? Like a carnivore does, yeah? Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, people, I mean, people used to do that, but... Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So we've evolved into carnivores, you're saying? Well, no, we're um, omnivores, so... Well, so we've evolved into omnivores? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, obviously... We can't just live off meat, we need other like alternatives okay. and things. So omnivores, they have claws and sharp teeth and they you know, catch animals out in the wild and they eat, they consume them raw through the, chew through their fur and all of that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why haven't we developed claws? Um, I don't know, that's evolution I guess. And why are canines so much different to say a proper omnivores canines? Um, have you seen an omnivores uh, mouth, they have sharp teeth, yeah? Yeah, they don't. Yeah. They don't have these molars for no. grinding and... So yeah, um, so the molars anyway, they, well as you said, they they used to like ground down like plants. Plant food? Like hard oh wow. Things. And what are your hands for? Uh, like picking up things and... Picking fruits and uh, picking out root vegetables and things like that? Picking up animals or something, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, wow. So when you see a rabbit run past you, do your carnivorous instincts kick in? Wow, to be honest, by me, I don't really ever see rabbits. Okay. So, you know, then. So when you see a bird, do, you, do, do your omnivorous instincts. Uh, a dog is an omnivore, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A dog is a, a biological omnivore, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Streamlined on four feet, they can, they can you know, chase their. They see a, a bird, they usually try to chase and eat the bird, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Interesting that you think that the reason that, we, that meat shouldn't be illegal is because we've evolved into omnivores. I'm not really seeing your biological adaptations to chase animals and consume them. Ah, uh, right, okay, yeah. so... I don't think see, see you as adapted to chasing down animals with your, you know... Oh, yeah. You know, and your, your teeth look flat and blunt. I yeah. mean, you're pointing to these canines. If you see a proper omnivore, their, their jaw hinges up and down. Yeah, Ours yeah, goes yeah. like this, for grinding, like yeah, a cow. Have yeah, you seen yeah. a cow eat? Yeah, yeah, I have, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's very interesting. So, I'm saying it should be illegal because it's it, the number one cause of environmental destruction we face. Okay. Amazon deforestation, water use, land use, ocean dead zones, you go to school so you'd be able to yeah, find yeah, out yeah. all these facts anyway you'd probably know that yeah, a hamburger yeah. is about two months worth of showers of water it's destroying the earth okay I think it should be illegal uh, in principle because it enslaves and kills innocent sentient animals who do not ask to be killed we can live healthily without it we have the Academy of yeah, Nutrition yeah. and Dietetics peer-reviewed statement saying vegan diets that are well planned can be healthy for all stages of life so we don't that, need yeah. to eat them for our health or for our survival anymore no matter what we did years ago yeah, yeah. we used to rape and kill each other and pillage and yeah. do all those things as well so it's destroying the earth and it's enslaving and killing animals that's why I think it should be illegal because we have laws protecting our freedom and liberty yeah. and that should extend also to animals and the earth and we do we do also have laws about animal cruelty you know uh -huh. it's not as if they're slaughtered only mainly 
you know, it's done in a controlled environment, okay. stressed on the animals, uh, okay. it's kept to like a minimum, you know. Yeah, even if it was kept to a minimum, do you think it would be morally justified to, you know, take someone's life against their will, even if the stress was kept to a minimum? Um, not really, to be honest. Yeah, 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 so. put, I'm just asking you to put yourself in the victim's position. Yeah, yeah. And if, you know, you, know you, you can be healthy and plant-based, yeah? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So you don't think there's a biological necessity for anything in meat? Uh, well, to be honest, meat has loads of vitamins, minerals and like nutrients and all that in it, but I mean, so does plants. Yeah, yeah. Or so do plants. Yeah, so do plants, yeah. And uh, I'd say fundamentally B12 is something that we need essentially that we can supplement with, you know, and uh, do you think it's better to take a supplement to, than to breed and stab animals in the throat, give them all these resources just to get B12? Well, um, uh, like if, we, if we could have a supplement instead of using all these resources and land and stabbing animals to death. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe sure, because yeah. I think there are, there are also methods that scientists are exploring where they can grow meat humanely in a lab, in a lab. so they can like grow yeah. like animal tissue and things like that. Have you heard yeah. of Beyond Meat? Uh, no, I haven't. Yeah, Beyond Meat is actually meat uh, that's been synthesized out of plants. Ah, right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, so like, it's uh, the same macronutrient profile, very similar in its... Like uh, a veggie burger sort of thing, or like... Yeah, a veggie burger, yeah. but it's a little bit more scientific than that. Oh, it's right, really, yeah. really close to the muscle fibre and tissue of actual meat, but it's made of plants, you know? Ah, so it's made uh, to be more, like, realistic yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, So, the reason I... For the reasons that I've just presented to you about, you know, the environmental destruction and taking away animals' liberties and killing them when, when we don't actually need it for our biology or any essential nutrient, I think it should be illegal to kill them. Do you oppose that still? Or? Um, I mean, you think, so going back to climate change and all that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you think many foods that people eat, so things like, um, I don't know, people eat like strawberries all year round, avocados and all, that comes import, that's all imported into the okay. UK and that, yeah. that contributes as well. Everything we do probably contributes yeah, neg yeah. negatively the environment the main cause of Amazon deforestation, 50% 50 50 of uh, greenhouse gas emissions. If by eating a plant-based diet, you can reduce your carbon footprint by 50%. The, the single most, the single biggest thing we can do for the earth and the environment is go vegan. And that was said by Joseph Poor from Oxford University. Um, so look, you're just talking about a couple of plant foods. Yeah, I'm not saying all plant foods are carbon neutral. That's not true. But the biggest thing we can do for the environment is eat plant-based and meat is literally destroying the Amazon rainforest. They're growing soybeans, they're, they're burning the forest to, you know, graze livestock and they're killing and enslaving sentient animals for something that's just basically, well, we don't really need it, do we? We don't need to eat meat. I know there's lots of things we don't need, but it's, we don't need it and it's cruel and unnecessary. Uh, sure, but um, so me and my family, we always try yeah. to go to the supermarket and we buy British meat and British, you know, yeah. British produce yeah. because it does it does help. In what way? Um, so it does lower carbon emissions because obviously, so for example, New Zealand lamb, that doesn't come all the way from over New Zealand, you know, okay. from to the other side of the world. So not putting the flesh on the plane, then you don't get the carbon imprint of the plane. But what about the the carbon footprint of the plane, sorry? But, you know, what about all the resources that are still fed to these animals, the water, the, you know, uh, the, uh, so they're burping this methane into the air as well. Raising all of these animals, using all of our water and, you know, eating all of the, the grassland and, you know, they're clearing forests for this grassland. This is having a negative impact on the environment. Yeah, you know, yeah. you could uh, agree with that? Yeah, I agree with that, yeah. Because like a bad use of our resources. Uh, not necessarily, because okay. humans have farmed over, you know, centuries, and yeah. they've also, they've kept animals for food, and yeah. they've, like, domesticated animals and all that. Yeah, but we've still fed all these resources to these animals for a small morsel of flesh. Like, think about how many resources are in yeah, a small yeah. morsel of flesh. Like, here's a statistic here. One hamburger, 60, 660 gallons of water, the four litres per gallon. So two months' worth of showers. One hamburger. Do you think that's justified? Uh, not necessarily, but I can't really comment because I had one just now, to be honest, so... But you can still comment. I used yeah. to eat meat too, I was still comment. I used to call myself a hypocrite all the time. Yeah. Um, just based on environmental destruction alone, do you think it should be illegal to destroy the environment? Uh, not necessarily illegal because people still need wood for logging and okay. all that, but I have to go in a minute, sorry, okay. because... But, I mean, causing this much destruction to the rainforest and the environment it's really going to be the end of us if we keep going like this. 
Uh, yeah, I, I agree. That yeah. should be illegal? Yeah. Okay. And killing animals against their will, that shouldn't be illegal? That should be well, fine? I'm, I'm undecided. Okay. Right. Undecided? Thanks for the chat, brother. I appreciate right. it. Take care, mate. He had to go. appreciate him staying around, though. Absolutely. Why not? Why shouldn't it be illegal to kill animals? It's fun. You love it. He gets off on it. Wow. I'm not saying that deriving pleasure from it and so forth. I'm not saying that that justifies what we do to animals. I think what we do to animals is absolutely abhorrent. And, and it shouldn't be illegal, though. Um, no, I don't think eating meat should be illegal.